Hi, welcome back to Watch It Played. My name is Rodney Smith. We're going to get right back to the gameplay, of course, but there's just a couple questions I answered in the YouTube comments, and I thought, well, maybe I should mention it here in case other people were wondering as well. One of the questions is, can you attack more than one villain per turn? The answer is yes. So let's just say I built up an attack point value in my hand of seven points, and then there was two villains in the city, one that had an attack strength of four, and another one had an attack strength of three. You could fight both of them in that one turn. Just make sure you resolve them separately. The other question I was asked is, when do you pay that recruit cost? Is it only when you're recruiting the card? And the answer is yes. Once you've got that card in your hand and you want to play it from your hand, it doesn't have any cost associated with it. You can play all the cards from your hand for free. Remember, of course, some of them have a superpower on them, and those superpower abilities you can only play if you've played a card preceding that card that matches that superpower hero class that's required. All right, so hopefully that clears it up. As always, if you have any questions at all about a game, just put them in the YouTube comments below. I'll always answer them as soon as I'm able to, and hopefully that will clear things up. After the short break, Luke's gonna join me though. We're gonna continue our playthrough. Alright, so we're back, and of course I've been joined by... Luke Smith. And we're ready to go. I got a great player suggestion from Ate Rosenbaum. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. I'll say Ate, you say Ate. One okay. of us is probably right. Maybe both of us are wrong. I certainly recognize your name, though. You've been a long-time viewer. And it was great to see you get a whole bunch of votes. So, here's what he wanted us to do first. First, he wants me to play the Endless Invention Iron Man. That's going to allow me to draw a card, so I'll do that now. I drew a shield agent. Now, he had hoped maybe I'd draw a trooper because that was going to play into the rest of the turn. But he, he gave me a plan for either or. Next thing I'm going to play is the high-tech weaponry Nick Fury. That, if I have played a tech card already, which I did, gives him an additional attack strength. Ooh. So now I have a total attack strength of three. I'm going to play two shield troopers for a total attack strength now of five. And then I'm going to play three shield agents. So now he wants me to attack Sabretooth. He was hoping we'd be able to go after Ymir, but not this turn. So Sabretooth, I'm going to fight. Now his fight effect says that each player reveals an X-Men hero or gains a wound. Do you have an X-Men hero? One? No, I don't either. We're each going to get a wound, unfortunately. Great. So I'll take mine. The wound goes to your discard. Now I still have some recruit points. Now Ty said I should not recruit that Spider-Man. I should save it for you. Thanks, Ty. All right. So instead, I am going to recruit, though. I can recruit one of these shield officers. Remember, these are always available. There's a nice big stack of them here. It has a cost of three, so I'll recruit that. All of my cards go into my discard pile. And I know I'm not going to have enough cards here to draw a full hand of six, so I'll be shuffling my discard pile while I do that and draw three cards. Luke's going to think about what he wants to do for his turn. Well, I start with a villain card, of course. That's right. Let's see what you got there. Enchantress. Enchantress. Okay. Fight. Draw free cards! Oh, Yay! that's a good fight effect. However, she's got a strength of six. Now, she's going to come into the sewers and push everything over. Now, here's another question I was asked. Yeah, we have a gap right here. You don't push over the blob. You only push a villain if another villain forces them out of the spot they're in. So instead, these are just going to fill, fill over into this gap here. Good you killed somebody. Yeah, it's good we made that empty space there, because now the blob doesn't escape this turn. Okay, Luke, what have you got in your hand? Anything worth doing? I have a wound! Yay! <laughs> it's too bad that wound has Wolverine, but it's not as good as a Wolverine card, for yeah. sure. What else you got? Um, one shield trooper. Okay, a shield trooper to give you attack strength of one. That's and not going to do much. four shield agents. Worst hand ever! <laughs> not great. Well, what are you going to recruit? Anything? Spider-Man. Okay, so Spider-Man's coming out. Replace him with another card. <gasps> It's an Iron Man card. It Can't is Repulsor hands. Ray's Iron Man. Okay, so you're done, right? Yep. Everything gets discarded. You get to draw six new cards. And now I'll think about what I want to do for my turn. Okay, so I've got a bad hand, but it's bad in a good way. But before I play it, of course, I have to draw yeah. a villain card. So let me draw a villain card. Okay. <laughs> master Strike! Yeah, it's a Master Strike. And actually, it's going to cancel. For, ignore what I just said. Now this hand is just bad. Um... So the Master Strike means that you have to reveal a tech hero uh, from your hand. We get that information because the Master Strike information is on the Mastermind card. And I don't have a tech hero to Me reveal. Neither. Okay, so we have to take two cards from our hand, put them face down on our, on our draw pile. Oh, this is just a nuisance. 
I, okay. Ugh. Ugh. So I'm putting these two down. The reason why I'm frustrated here is I, I have three wound cards in my hand. And if that's bad, but if I want to spend my whole turn, as long as I don't recruit anything or fight anything, I can just get rid of all my wounds. Yeah. I, I put one of my wounds back in here. Ooh. Okay, so I am going to get rid of these two. I'm going to KO these wounds. Now, the reason why I didn't get rid of all of them is because I also wanted to play Battlefield Promotion Nick Fury, which allows me to KO a, a shield agent from my hand, a shield hero, sorry, from my hand. And I had this shield agent here I wanted to KO. And then I get to replace it with a shield officer. So if I'd gotten rid of, say, um, both of my, uh, my shield cards, I wouldn't have been able to use Nick Fury's ability, which I really wanted to do. So anyway, that's, uh, I don't know, I don't feel so great about that anymore. I'm going to draw my six cards, and we'll give a chance uh, to Luke to think about what he wants to do for his turn. Now, Luke, I know you've been reduced to four cards. I hope you can do something better than I did. But before you do anything, fill in card. Okay, yeah. Juggernaut. Okay, well, this is interesting. Okay, there's two things that are going to happen. First of all, he's going to enter into the city. He has an ambush effect. Each player KOs two heroes from their discard pile. Oh. Oh, my goodness, this is terrible. Our wounds? I'm losing both a shield officer and my battlefield promotion, Nick Fury. Gone. Um, KO'd. I'm going to discard two shield troopers. So those get knocked out. Would have been a great time to be able to KO some wounds, but all right. So yeah. again, so Juggernaut's entering the city. The city's full. So everyone gets pushed over, and then the blob so. escapes. One copy of the blob escapes. So he doesn't have any kind of escape effect. He's going to go into the escape villain's deck. And then whoever turn it is, they have to KO one of the heroes in here with a power of six, or sorry, a cost of six or less. So what do you Ooh. want to get rid of? This is a tough choice. I'm going to go for the weakest card here, Repulsus Ray's Iron <laughs> Repulsor Ray's Iron Man. He gets KO'd. Of course, he gets replaced right away, so we'll put that out. Ooh. Ah, Spider-Man. Hmm. All right, well, you can now play your turn. Um, so far, not so good. Luke, what do you got? I'm going to play Great Responsibility Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. Let's me look at the top card of my deck. If it's two or less, I keep it, which it is. Okay, good. Then I'm going to play Odinson. <laughs> Odinson Thor. Odinson. <laughs> Thor. It gives me two plus buying power. Good. Two recruit points there. And free shield agents. Okay. So that gives you a total of five yeah. recruit. So looks like you'll be recruiting. What are you going to grab? Iron Man. Okay. We got it Arc Reactor. Arc Reactor. All right. So you can throw that into your discard. Everything gets discarded while you draw your... And I'm going to think about what I'm going to do. And I'm also going to replace this hero in the HQ. <laughs> okay, well, uh, my turn. Let's see if we can turn things around here, Luke. Drawing a card from the villain deck. Okay, okay, not terrible. It's a Doom Bot, all right? So, unfortunately, of course, he's going to push everything again. So something else is escaping. It's Ymir. That means we're going to have to KO another hero, unfortunately, from the uh, HQ. Um... Look, we have two copies of a rogue here. I'm oh, thinking yeah. we'll we'll KO one of yeah. these, all right, and then we'll oh, draw out a new one. Fear. It's Nick Fury. So now I can play cards from my hand. Well, I have a wound; can't do anything without it. But I'll just lay it out here. Now I'm going to play three shield troopers to give me an attack strength of three, and uh, I'm going to play a shield officer with a recruit strength of two and a shield agent. So I've got three buying power, three recruiting power, and three attack strength. So I will fight. I will fight the. Uh, the Doombot Legion. So I look at the top two cards of my deck, I KO one of them, put the other one back. Now if these are both good cards, I'm going to be very sad. What if they're wounds? Ah, good. They're both shield agents, I'm going to get rid of one of them, put the other one back, and I put this guy into my victory point pile. And then I'm going to think about recruiting something. Uh, now I've got three recruit points, I think I'm going to grab the Nick Fury that's here. And this is the uh, high-tech weaponry Nick Fury. So there, I'll discard all of my cards, I'll draw six new ones and give Luke a chance to think about his turn. So I think we should have a separate game for our viewers at home. You guys get one point for your victory pile every time I forget to put a hero in the headquarters when I take one out. We'll start by doing that first. A Thor one is coming out. All right, Luke, we gotta get a villain up for you. All right, let's see right. what it is. Master Strike. Strike. Okay, so we're gonna have to uh, take a look at our hand, see if we have any tech heroes. Do you have a tech hero? Mm -hmm. Ah, 
I do. So I do not have to discard down to four cards, thankfully. But Luke, do you know what you're going to discard down to right now? Yep, I'll discard. A wound. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry. And when I say discard, I mean put it back on top of your pile, oh. your drop pile. So a wound is going back on it. Okay. And, and I'll just put this on. Okay. Sounds good. So now you are able to play cards from your hand. What do you want to play? I'll play Great Responsibility Spider-Man. I played this earlier. Yes, we know what that does. So you go ahead and take a look at that card. Yes. And you get to keep it. Excellent. So now what do you want to play from your hand? What else have you got there? Um, I'll, I have one shield trooper. Yeah, that's not going to do much. And three shield agents. Okay, recruit strength of three. Let me guess. It rhymes with brighter man. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and grab Spider-Man. Not a lot of things rhyme with Spider-Man. Uh, okay, so we're going to... Look, no point for you guys, because I remember flipping over an Iron Man. Okay, I'm going to take a look at my hand and decide what I'm doing. Now, Luke's all done. It's my turn. But listen, we're going to stop here. You guys are going to jump in and help us out. So the first thing I'm going to do, though, before we leave, is I'm going to draw another villain. Show you guys what new villains are coming out. It's Mystique. Now, Mystique has an attack strength of 5, and her escape effect says that she becomes a scheme twist that takes effect immediately. So oh, basically, great. if she escapes, she's gonna activate another one of those dark portals. All right, that's not great. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna show you guys my hand. I want you guys to let me know what you think I should do, how I should play the cards in my hand, what I should recruit, what I should attack, if anything, and then we'll come back and we'll take whichever suggestion gets the most votes in the YouTube comments. That's the one that we'll do. Hope you guys were able to follow that easily enough. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Until then, thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching.